And welcome back to All Over the Map. Thanks for tuning in. On this episode, we have United States Famous Places, the game created by Chebel. It's been a while since I've done a United States-based game. Thought, hey, let's do it. It's a long President's Day weekend here in the United States. That means Monday is a holiday or bank holiday, as you folks call it from around the world. Here, it's President's Day weekend. United States Famous Places, we're just going to get right into this, and we're going to do this as a no time limit. Moving, panning, zooming, allowed challenge. The play along link will be in the description below for those of you that want to play along. So we're just going to get right into it and explore the U.S., something that we really haven't done for quite some time, I think, on this channel. Right out of the gate, I see this. There's palm trees. There's a lion. It looks like the San Diego Zoo, which I think it is. And... Uh, Nighttime at the zoo, San Diego Zoo, that is, one of the world's most famous zoos. There's the California Republic state flag. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, I have not been here, but this is definitely a place that I'd like to visit at some point in the future. Interesting shirt there. Speaking of United States famous places, this guy has firecrackers. With American flags on it. I think it's the same guy that is here. It is. So there we are. The San Diego Zoo. Let's go look for San Diego and the zoo that is San Diego. So we're here, Balboa Park. Not sure exactly where this is. Um, the entrance. Zoo Brew. That sounds like a good place. Um, there it is, Rex Roar's Sculpture, I'm guessing that's where we are, yeah, there's the road, the parking lot, if you park on a nice, beautiful, sunny day in San Diego, California, there we go, and if you're from around the world, or from the United States, first and foremost, if you're from the United States, comment down below where you're from, if you've been in the United States, let us know where you've been. If you've been to any of these famous places, I'd love to hear from you. Um, there we are. I've actually been to this location. I've been to this spot. It's one of my, I would say, top 20, let's say, places that I've been to in the United States. Um, one of the more underrated cities in the United States, from my opinion, from the history, just a lot of different stuff stuff it is Riverwalk. It is San Antonio, Texas. The Lone Star Cafe is open. But yeah, this is the Riverwalk. Um, Coyote Ugly. In fact, I think, I know I've walked past here. I think I've, there's, there's a, um, I feel like there's a British pub. Maybe this is not it uh, in like one of these locations. Anyway, um, Let's walk down this way. Yeah, this is Riverwalk. Let's just see. Riverwalk, San Antonio. The Alamo is probably over here. We cross. No, we can't. Um, but yeah, just a beautiful city. A lot of history. A lot of fun. A lot of good places to have a pint of beer. Um, when we went, it was fairly warm, fairly humid. Um, so it can get hot, but yeah, it's, um, it's a great city. So San Antonio, Texas here, actually two great cities for that matter, San Diego and San Antonio. There's the San Antonio Spurs flag. Um, yes, yeah, so there we go. Let's go back to start the bridge there. San Antonio, Texas. It's interesting because here's the river walk. And if you look at the Alamo, the Alamo, um, but the Alamo is right in the city center of San Antonio. Also, I'll drop it there for a second. Down here somewhere are the San Diego Missions. There it is, the Missions National Historic Park. Uh, it's a pretty interesting location because walled Spanish mission from the 1700s. You wouldn't think in this part of the world that there's stuff that old, but there is. Um, pretty cool 
locations, pretty cool stuff. A lot of fun things to do in San Antonio, Texas. The Alamo. And we have to, yeah, you can even take a boat through here. Kind of comes through and wraps around river cruises. Um, let's see. The Republic of Texas. There it is. Mad Dog's British Pub. Been there. Um, where this coyote ugly I think it's around here somewhere um all right there's a Lone Star Cafe which is southeast okay it's looking northeast it's across where over here the Republic of Texas where's this fridge Rio, Rio Cantina. I'm sure these places have changed since uh, maybe the street view. Um, like I said, that's been there since 1975. You'd think it would be here for a while. Um, Yeah, Mr. Ice Cream. So that's the bridge. We're a little bit. Yeah, there we are. Nine yards, 5,000 points. San Diego, California. Third round. This could be the Red Rocks of Colorado, but I'm not sure. Very beautiful picture with the clouds. Very cool photosphere, famous places. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Red rocks. Maybe not. Maybe not. Wow, this might be one I get wrong. Um, that's my first guess. I probably should stick with that. I mean, the trees kind of look like it. The only other landscape that this could be would be Utah with these types of red rocks. But I'm going to say it's red rocks, I think. In this part of Colorado near Denver. We could also be over here around Pikes Peak. Red Rock Canyon. The Broadmoor. Been to the Broadmoor. Very nice place. I've been to the top of Pikes Peak uh, and the Red Rocks, which is up in Denver or west of Denver in this area somewhere. Um, oh, oh, Red Rocks. I don't know if this is it, though. I'm not feeling that it is. This is the location. Um, but at this point, I'm not sure else this could be. This looks like a national park, like one of those brown signs, but uh, what are we thinking? Yeah, so it's either got to be there or somewhere around here. Garden of the Gods, maybe this is it. Sure. Um, hmm. I'm going to go with Garden of the Gods in this one just because the balanced rock. Maybe this is the balanced rock. Yeah, maybe this is it. Maybe go through the balanced rock here. The steamboat rock. 
maybe we were there. Yeah, I've been through here. It's just been years since I've been in this part of Colorado. Um, but I think that's it. It is. And that was good. Because I get confused sometimes. There's that Red Rocks, like Amphitheater, which is a pretty cool place. And Denver, if you've been to any of these places, you've been to Top of Pikes Peak, let us know. Uh, I've been to Top of Pikes Peak when it's... I've been here too as well. I've been to, going back, been to Pikes Peak in July, snowing at the top of the mountain. Grand Old Opry, Nashville, Tennessee, famous place, Johnny Cash and the boys, Dolly Parton, Kenny Rogers, Nashville. We talked about San Antonio. Nashville is actually one of my favorite cities in the United States. Top probably five, top five now. It's um, been there a couple of times, but it's getting better every time uh, I go back to visit. Great city. Um, yeah, great place. Highly recommend, especially if you're into country music. I'm not a big country music fan. I like all types of music. But uh, Grand Ole Opry, they used to have guitars. Yeah, there's these things here, like large guitars. Um, and anyway, Grand Ole Opry was here not too long ago, and that's the Tennessee state flag. And lo and behold, it is not right in Nashville downtown proper uh it's out here a little ways and i just got to think of where it was that's right way a little way far out a little far ways outside but yeah the home of the fame long-running radio show if you're from i guess the united states and used to country music by the way i've talked about this a couple of times and i've said this maybe on finished videos or other there's a chain that started out in mid-Atlantic United States that's now kind of going na nationwide, but it's called Mission Barbecue. Great barbecue. I look at this. It's evening as I'm playing this. I'm thinking about going to Mission Barbecue tonight. That might be a thing I do. Don't know. Uh, 5,000 points, 27 yards. Yeah, Grand Old Opry, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, one of my favorite places in the United States. Also been here. I think this is Jamestown. Captain John Smith, Governor of Virginia from 1608. Jamestown, the first settlement in the United States, I believe, or the first something. Um, the James River. I'm thinking this is what it is. I could be wrong. That's what it looks like. I've been here uh, fairly recently. Recently is in the past 10 years. <laughs> no. Um, been a little while, but I think this is Jamestown, Captain John Smith. Yeah, this has got to be Jamestown, which is over here, Jamestown, which is interesting because this location here, the entrance to the Chesapeake Bay, when the United States was becoming its own country, was received a lot of help in the naval side of things from the French here. So. A lot of interesting ties with the United States and the French, most people don't know about. But this is a big location here where the French um, kind of turned away some of the British to help the United States. Um, here, not too far away from Jamestown, but I think this is where we are here, the new town, I think. Um, looking southwest, John Smith, that would be... John Smith statue. Jamestown settlement, the 1607 colony, but uh, this, not, uh, this this is it. It's got to be it. I just. Let's just take a little walk. This is what exactly it looks like, but maybe there's something else. Maybe I'm missing something here. So let's take a little walk here. Let me know if you want me to do some more United States videos because um, I'm even thinking about doing uh, in real life. Yeah, Jamestown. Um, that's pretty cool. This thing was built in. 1907, 300 anniversary, I guess. Um, but I could do a game of locations. I'm even thinking about doing a map of all the locations that I've been throughout the United States and just playing a game that way. If there's any interest in that or anything else, 
uh, United States-based small towns, stadiums, NFL stadiums. Let me know. I know there's not. I really enjoy learning more about the rest of the world, but um, yeah, there's the flag. Uh, so let me know if the United States is is it is something I should continue to play. I know there are a bunch of you that continue to say to look out and uh, say, hey, can you keep playing this? Can you play United States? So here we are. I gotta think, this is, I gotta think that that's the location. See if we get this or what we find. Look at that. Jamestown Settlement. You can get a Pepsi. Um, Pepsi seems to be big in that part of the country, from what I recall. Uh, Dale House. So you're up here. There we are, Captain John Smith. I just didn't zoom in far enough. So we've been a little longer this game, but one, again, to explore something to see, something different, I guess, here on all of the maps, something you don't get to see a lot of. And uh, we get a perfect score on this one. 25,000 points. Hopefully you did as well. Yeah, this is, this is a United States famous place. It's a pretty good map because I have been to four of the five locations. Four of the five locations. That's pretty good. Four of the five locations. San Antonio, Nashville. If we're just looking at cities, I would love San Diego. San Diego is great too. But uh, San Antonio and Nashville. Um, San Antonio is really underrated for me. Nashville, everybody likes. San Diego, everybody likes. But yeah, San Antonio. If you're from another part of the world, a lot of things to do in San Antonio. Uh, and not to mention some good food. Some good barbecue and good Tex-Mex. With that said, I need to get some food. I need to get fill my belly full of barbecue. That's what I think I'm going to do. But appreciate each and every one of you that continue to tune in and support the channel. If you have any suggestions or comments, always let me know or send me an email at all over the map 23 at gmail.com. Until next time, cheers.